Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about SAP demand management. You people must be thinking what it is. Now, the most important concept of SAP demand management is a planned independent requirement. So creation of a planned independent requirement is a very important step for SAP demand management. Now, if you talk about the business concept, so a planned independent requirement is a requirement which is without the reference of a sales order. So there is no sales order from the customer and this demand is not from the customer of the sales order. Rather, it is planned in response to the business and market factors. So a PIR may consist of a quantity of product from a particular supply location and it can be planned for a specific date. Now, very important is the planning strategy. So what is planning strategies? So there are two kinds of planning strategies for this demand management. The first one is MTS that is make to stock and the other is MTO that is make to order. Now let's discuss about the difference between MTS and MTO. So in the material master in the MRP view, the strategy group will decide whether the material is make to stock or make to order. So there are certain values of strategy group. So if you, if you take a 20 and 25, it is for MTO or if we take a strategy group of 10 then and 40, it is for MTS. So if we take 10, the requirement type will be LSF and if we take 40, the requirement type will, will be VSF. So I will show you in the SAP system what uh, the strategy group is and how do we set it in the material master. Now in the MTO scenario, the production process or the procurement starts after the customer sales order is registered. So make to order. So I have an order. So I'm making the part with respect to the order. So it's MTO make to order. So it starts after the customer sales order is registered. Now the customer order is the base of this process. And once we have completed the manufacturing, the stock is managed as a sales order stock in our plant and will be only used for that particular sales order. So the order for which we have produced that stock, it would be consumed in that order only. However, if you talk about MTS, we just procure and produce the stock and keep it without waiting for any sales order. So we are not waiting for the sales order to arrive because we want to deliver the product to the customer immediately. Its advantage is that it has shortened lead times and it is much more simpler and more streamlined compared to MTO. And the production lines can be set up to run efficiently because there are fewer equipment changeovers that introduce bottlenecks. So I am on my SAP screen and we have a good material. This is a raw material. And I have gone to the MRP3 screen for this setting. So for demand management, make to stock and make to order setting in material master is very important. So here in this section, this is the planning section under strategy group. We have to maintain a good group. Okay. So if I do an F4 here, I can see that there are a lot of strategy groups which we can set in the material master. So for 10 is make to stock production. If we want to do a make to stock gross requirement planning, we have to choose 11. If I have a make to order production scenario, I have to use 20. 21 is make to stock production for project settlement. So these are some of the settings which you need to make in the material master and based on these settings, the requirement will be generated in MD61. So now we can go to the MD61 screen. So I do a slash and MD61. And this is the screen for creation of plan independent requirement. So I give the material, I give the plant and I would press enter. So here I will mention the quantity of stock I require. So these are the months. So this is the fifth month, this is the sixth month. So what is the quantity of stock I require for the fifth month? I will mention here. So suppose I need 11 quantity for fifth month and say 15 quantity for month six. So I mention the quantity here and I will save this record. So once I save it, the requirements will be saved. 
okay now how will I see the requirement so I go to slash n md04 so this is the stock requirements list so I open this material and in this plant and MRP area I press enter so I would see that my requirement is here see if you check this line so we have an LSF requirement that it, this will be based on the planning strategy which I showed you in the material master so this is the requirement so 11 was the requirement for this month 5 2 and 15 will be the requirement for 6 1 2022 so that's it's a second it's uh, the fifth month and the sixth month so for fifth month it is 11 for the sixth month it is 15 so this is my uh, stock quantity so the available quantity is one uh, I propose another additional quantity of 11 and 15 in these two months now the next step is to create a planning run so that the requirement will be generated so via MRP I will create a purchase requisition so we would be talking about MRP live in the next video so we would be seeing how do we create a purchase requisition after running an MRP live so that's all in today's video stay tuned for the next video which will come very soon till then you all take care and goodbye